somebody shout hallelujah. Keep playing, keep playing. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Just put it in the background. Maintain that pulse. Don't, don't stop. Don't stop that pulse. Today is day six. Shout hallelujah. The Lord keeps helping us. God is so good. We thank him for strength. He, he took some of us to Kaduna and brought us back safely. And thank God for supernatural strength. Somebody said, how do you do this? I said, supernatural strength. Say, supernatural. Say, the grace of God. Now, day six, on the sixth day, God created man. Amen. God created man. And one of the things he did for man was that he redeemed us. Amen. Amen. The first Adam came and messed up. But the second Adam came. The second Adam. Yeshua HaMashiach. So tonight we're going to proclaim a lot of what he did on the cross. Amen. That's why we're singing this song. You have what? Redeemed us. Ephesians 1 7. Let me set a context. These are powerful declarations. Our brother David Kennel, David Kennel, celebrate him. He wrote this song. Follow his ministry. That's a true, a true psalmist, true child of God. You know, he, he writes very scriptural based songs. So, David and Kennel, David and Kennel. So, he's is going to be blessing us with this song tonight. We will just keep it by the side in case I need it. Amen. Amen. Ephesians 1 7. Want to go? In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Amen. So we're going to sing songs of the mercy of God, of his blood. We're going to focus on this mercy tonight. Say the mercy of God. There's something I shared a while ago. I hope you've not forgotten. The mercy of God is very powerful. When you are wrong, you do what? You plead for mercy. When you are right, you do what? When you are not sure, what? So it is one plea or, you know, plead that you can never go wrong with. Jesus, thou what? Son of David, have mercy. When you are sure of yourself, call out for mercy. When you are not sure of yourself, call out for mercy. When you are wrong, call out for mercy. People think mercy is something you plead when you are wrong. No, no, no. After you have done everything right, you need the mercy of God. The mercy of God will break out for someone. Before I forget, there is a name that has been coming to me in the course of the day, just speaking in tongues. Tejumade. Tejumade. God is visiting you tonight. I know there may be other tens and hundreds of people but you know yourself tonight the mercy of my God the mercy of God is breaking out to you Amen. hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Psalm 107 verse 2 he says what let those he has redeemed with his blood do what say so do what whom he had what redeemed from the hand of the enemy. So the way he walks in the realm of the spirit, you have been redeemed. Christ finished work 2,000 years ago. But your responsibility is two things. To believe, he said to believe it and to speak it. Oh, Paul says we believe and therefore we do what we speak. So we believe and therefore we speak. Yes, yeah, so speaking the word is cashing out on the word. That's something for someone. Speaking the word is the way you cash out on the word. Speaking the word is the way you make a demand on the word. Amen. You don't say he has done it. So tonight, through our songs and declarations, we are going to speak and declare what Christ has already done. That is the way we place a demand. We cash the check. Hallelujah. So when we sing these songs today, sing it. You have redeemed us. You may be praying for yourself. Amen. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's remind ourselves of the mandate of a new challenge. Acts 16. 
25, 26. And then we'll fire the song. And then we'll begin to pray. Tonight, the mercy of God is breaking through to someone. That amen is too weak. That amen needs salvation. That amen is not born again. Let's read one to go. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly, say suddenly, there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prisons were shaken. And immediately, all the doors, how many doors? How many doors? Spiritual doors, psychological doors, physical doors, emotional doors, financial doors, every door. That's why there are testimonies of open doors. Because as we praise God, there is a shift, says a shift. And everyone's bands, how many people? Some people, only the men, only the women, maybe their children. Everyone's bands were loose, including those of your relatives. As you are praising, they are being loose. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands and begin to thank Him. Say, Holy Spirit, help me this morning. Baptize me with the spirit of praise. A garment of praise. Garment of praise. Garment of praise. For the spirit of heaviness. Thank you. Hallelujah. You know, when we landed today with the team, rushing to get out of Kaduna because Kaduna does not have um, lighting, runway light, so we had to fly out on time. We landed thanking God. And then we're driving when one of my guys showed me a text, a news some some of you in Nigeria may have heard someone prominent in our nation someone who I know just passed tragically and that just hit me in a, in a way it's somebody I knew at the city of David I've done a couple of things for them and I went home laid down just so down prayed I was praying and meditating but as I came here and we prayed, took communion. As we began to sing, I felt this garment of praise. He says he gives a garment of praise for what? The spirit of heaviness. I prophesy tonight, every heaviness, every depression, every weight is broken right now. It's broken, be broken. Say, Holy Spirit, clothe me with a garment of praise. For the spirit of heaviness. Are you ready to praise? He has redeemed us. He has redeemed us. God is proclaiming the song. Please don't just enjoy the beat. This is a powerful declaration. So in case you are missing it on the screen, it says, You have redeemed us to our God by your blood. Out of every tribe and tongue, you've made us kings and priests to our God. And we shall reign on earth as you reign above, we shall reign in Jesus' name. You have redeemed us.
carried anything belonging to you as a point of contact to afflict you. I stand upon the finished work of Jesus, upon the blood of the New Testament. We send that blood to go down deep, to excavate whatever was buried, whatever of yours was buried, whatever was taken from you as a point of contact. Bury the way. May the blood locate it right now. May the hand of God locate it right now. I sense deliverance tonight. When you think about the blood of Jesus, deliverance happens. Hey, Jesus, shall reign forever. More for him on this mic. Hey, Jesus, shall reign.
in our families, in your lives. We're going to sing again and we're going to pray some prayers. Every demonic manipulations, every walk of darkness around your life, around your family, tonight we're going to deal with it. The Bible says, He frustrates what the tokens of liars. He makes what the diviners man. Wherever they carried your name to, wherever they carried your head to, wherever they cut your, your, your clothes to, tonight, the sword of the Lord is lifted tonight. We invoke the power in the blood of Jesus. For we overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. We're going to sing that song again and then we'll begin to pray. Hey! Cause I'm gonna do that. Saturday nights, and from experience, few people, I mean, people, you know, always wait for the weekdays to join. May they not miss today. I sense that today is someone's appointment of deliverance. Let's read one to go. Ye 
shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Verse 18. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshipping him. 19. And the Levites and the children of Kohathites and of children of the Kohathites stood to do what? Praise the Lord God of Israel. With what? A loud voice. Say a loud voice. Your volume matters. That's why your volume matters. Because it's called Hallelujah Challenge. Halal Challenge. Halal is to, to, to make a loud sound. So you sing loud. Amen. Verse 20. And they rose early in the morning. It's early in the morning here. And they went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God. So shall ye be established. Believe his prophet. So shall ye prosper. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord. And that should do what? Praise the beauty of holiness. As they went out before the army. And to say what? Praise the Lord for his mercy and joy forever. That's what we are singing. You are good and his mercy what? And yours forever. As they declared that, what happened? And when they began to sing, say when, not after, as we are singing now, what happened? The Lord set ambushment against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah. And they were smitten. Tonight your enemies will be smitten. Every force of darkness will be smitten. By the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, say you are good. just to help the people online but for ourselves amen while we began to praise i began to shift towards this direction 
Tonight is a night of enforcing victory. Say enforcing victory. Enforcing victory. Let's go to Hebrews 12, 24. I shared a testimony, a video of one of my Jesus girls, members of our church. It's online, Viola and Uchi. You know, I shared um, the testimony. She kept having this cycle of broken engagement. You know, almost three or four times, somebody comes, they are serious, they meet the parents, and something happens, and they the thing breaks. And one day I said to her, this looks like a cycle. This, no, no, no. This is contrary to what Christ prayed for. And we must always learn to, to, to be very, you know, detailed with things in our lives. You, you see a pattern that is inconsistent with what Christ has done because his word says the path of the just was, is, of just is a shining light. Yes, ours is glory to glory, not glory, shame, shame, glory. No, 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 no. If you see a pattern that's inconsistent, you've got to ask questions. So we began to ask questions. Then they began to pray. Then his, um, her fiance now, is it fiance or fiance? Fiance is the guy. Began to pray and then God showed him a vision. He walked into church and then he saw a woman on my chair, the, the pastor's chair. And then the woman seemed to have a right, a legal right against Viola, the lady. And then she, she, she seemed like she was, you know, helpless around the woman. And then there was nothing he too can do. All right? He woke up. And then he had something similar again. Then I perceived what it was. I knew there was something in the realm of the spirit, you know, like a legal right. And as we asked questions, we began to go back, trace things in our lives. And then we began to enforce what Christ has done. Amen. The, the word of God says in Revelation 12, 11, that what we overcame the devil, how? By the blood of the lamb. Romans 8, 1 says, there's therefore what? Now no condemnation to them that are now in Christ Jesus. Now she kept wondering, but I'm born again. Why is it happening to me? Because you see, what Christ has done has to be enforced. Let the redeemer of the Lord do what? Say so. Yes, you are redeemed, but the way to effect it is to say it. Because the devil is a stubborn devil. He's very legalistic. He knows the truth, but he will try to twist you. He will try to deceive you. Tonight, we want to, to stand upon what Christ has done. Amen. Let's go to... Anyway, you can watch the video. We, we, we took her through that process, you know, and today that spell is broken. Those two will get married very soon, powerfully. It will happen to you. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 12, 24. And to what? Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. And to the blood of sprinkling that does what? Speaketh. Say the blood speaketh. The blood speaketh. And one of the ways the blood speaks is by saying what the blood has done for you. Number one prayer point open your mouth say thank you for the blood of Jesus thank you for the blood of Jesus that was shed for me thank you because through the blood I have mercy I have forgiveness open your mouth and pray thank you for the blood of Jesus I want you to raise your volume. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. We enter into the holiest place by the blood of Jesus. The blood made a new and living way into God's presence. Speaks for 
for me. Number two prayer. Say, Father, tonight, keep praying. Let the blood speak. As I pray, let the blood speak. Let it speak for me. Let the blood answer for me. Open your mouth and pray. He says the blood speak and better things. Say, let the blood speak better things. 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 Let the blood speak better things for me. Tonight the blood is speaking. The voice of the blood is thundering around the world. The blood is silencing accusations around the world. tonight any basis of accusation you know the devil is very legalistic so he would lay hands and I know I have lawyers here I have justice here she understands what I mean right justice you know that so your opponent argues with what evidence they say I have evidence against you and sometimes they are right they are right to ask you to pray a prayer. Say, Holy Spirit, shine your light upon dark and blind spots in my life. There are certain things that the enemy may be laying hands upon as evidence to plague you, to delay your destiny. You're going to ask the Holy Spirit to bring them to your remembrance. Say, bring them to my remembrance. Now, what we are going to do, what anything that comes to your mind, you remember something you did that may be a basis something you said in the case of that my Jesus girl Biola, she remembered her time in the east she made some wrong choices she entered relationships with people she ought not to with people who were married and we knew that that was a basis now when it comes to you you're going to say father I put everything under the blood I put everything under the blood. Say, I put everything, every evidence against me, every accusation under the blood. For it is written in Colossians 2.14, put it up, Colossians 2.14. He blotted out every handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us. He took it out of the way and nailed it to the cross. Open your mouth and say whatever is the basis of accusation against me whatever may be responsible for delay whatever the enemy has used against me by reason of the blood they are blotted out open your mouth let the redeemer of the lord say so raise that prayer Whatever is that basis. Say, I put it under the blood. It was blotted out. It was blotted out. For it is written, there is now therefore no condemnation to them that are now in Christ Jesus. Those who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Say 
And therefore, Satan, you have no right. You have no stake. You have no share in my destiny. You have no business with my destiny. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. I have no business with you. You have business with Christ. Go to Jesus. Go to Jesus. Go to Jesus. Go to Jesus. He is the one who died. He is the one who took my sins. He is my mediator. He is my advocate. He is my intercessor. Go to Jesus. Hey, say I have no case to answer. I have no case to answer. I have no case to answer. My God, I feel it. I have no case. I have no case. I have no case. My God, by the blood that you shed, we have overcome. He signs that up with death for life, and you gave us a right to your holy name. The center of power, by the blood, by the blood that you shed. By the Lord, say, I have overcome. I have overcome. This time that I waited for life, for life. And you gave us the right to your holy name. The scepter of power spread. By the blood that you shed, by the blood that you shed, I have overcome.
to mess you up sexually. It ends now. It ends now. It ends now. I declare you free. I declare you are quickened. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Numbers 23, 23. Every, every, every demonic manipulation, every spell, every witchcraft around you, in your business, ah, we set fire around your home, around your business. Every agent of darkness, every witch in your office, in your home, in your marriage, right now we judge them with the God's fire let the fire of God make it uncomfortable for them in the name of Jesus believe me be, believe me we don't glorify the devil but witchcraft is real make no mistake make no mistake make no mistake make no mistake the same way you have angels you have demons you have evil spirits. Let's read Numbers 23, 23. Want to go? Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel. See what God has done. Now put your name there. Wherever your name was taken to. Wherever your picture was taken to. I don't know if I've ever shared this testimony. Wait, 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 wait. Let me share this testimony. Maybe I'll, I'll share that video tonight. Twice. Twice. A guy walked up to me. He wore a, 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 a cap. Is it a cap? First in traffic around where I live. I was in traffic and then he came, knocked on the window and began to chant in incantation. He stretched his hands. He said, give me something, something, something. Let me make prayer for you. So I knew that what he was saying was meant to hypnotize me. But it had no effect. I said, will you live here now? And then he left. The same guy, months after, came to us where we have the studio here. I was packed down. He was captured by the CCTV. I mean, played and just blow his face. He walked, walked to me and chanted the exact same thing he chanted the first day. Ah, and I, I grew angry in the spirit. I said, did, ne, did they not tell you that as they went from place to place, from one kingdom to another kingdom, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Who are you who sent you? He now told me his name. He said, I am, I won't mention it, a priest of the other religion. That's all I will say. And then he wanted to walk away. I called him back. I said, come back. I said, you, if you do that again, you will die. I sent him away. You are going to speak tonight. There is no enchantment. There is no divination. He said there is no enchantment against Nathaniel Bassi. There is no divination. There is no spell. There is no cause. Whatever they did, whatever they said, wherever they took my name, wherever they buried stuff, it has no effect. It, by the blood of Jesus, open your mouth and pray.
expose every agent of darkness in my home, in my life. Everyone in your house sent on assignment. They are uprooted by fire. In your family, in your place of work. challenge a life testimony and somebody went to his office he shared this testimony with me he said he went to his office and for, and for the first time he knelt down I mean he was going to sit on his seat and for the first time he knelt like this put his head over this the, the chair to sit and then he saw six pins put on his seat six pins everyone who was involved in that activity was exposed and dealt with. Father, we pray tonight every walk of darkness, every demonic manipulation in our lives. Don't you know that sometimes that strange argument in your marriage is an arrow from hell? Oh yes, married people listen to me. Oh yes. See, Eh? if you are a pastor like I do you will know things I have, I have spoken to people I have prayed for people for young people who have repented the kind of things I had I spoke to a lady once and she said to me she went somewhere and they made an incision on her tongue and put certain things in incantation and the, and the idea was whenever she speaks to any man she gets what she wants Every stranger in your home, every stranger in your life, every stranger in your marriage, every stranger in your destiny, causing delay, causing delay. Tonight they are rooted out. They are rooted out in the name of Jesus. Now the Bible says the blood speaks better things, better things. Open your mouth and speak better things. Speak better things. You better open. If you are here and you are not praying, the devil is sitting on your head. He doesn't want you to be free. Your job is not to, to be a crowd for people online. Pray for yourself. Pray. I'm a product of these prayers. Speak better things. Nathaniel, you rise continually. You make progress. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Say, I speak life by the blood of Jesus. I speak life. I speak life. Speak life. Life is better things. I speak life. There is no untimely death. Yes. I will live to fulfill my days. I will live to fulfill the length of my days. Keep praying. Father, let that fibro dissolve. Let that fiber dissolve. And I pray for Tejumade again. We effect victory on your behalf by the blood of Jesus. Speak victory by the blood. Say, I have victory by the blood. Victory by the blood of Jesus. Victory by the blood of Jesus. Say, I place a mark of exemption from destruction. The blood of sprinkling exempts from evil. By reason of the blood of Jesus, 
no evil, no plague shall rest upon my dwelling. Say, I acknowledge the finished work of Christ on the cross. May the blood of Jesus and its attendant benefit avail for me. May the blood of Jesus and its attendant benefit avail for me. There is a lady with discharge from your body. Foul smell. That discharge comes to an end. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord says, as you have spoken in my ears, so shall it be. As you have spoken in my ears, so shall it be. Psalm 85 verse 7. Let's pray a prayer of mercy. You ask God to show you mercy. The prayer of mercy is powerful. Show us your mercy. Oh Lord. And grant us your salvation. You are going to personalize it. Put the new King James. Now, I want you to pray it like Jabez did. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Raise it. Jesus, thou son of David. Don't, don't pray cute. Show me your mercy. No. Cry out. When Bartimaeus cried out, they said, shh, keep quiet. The Bible says he did what? Cried out the more. Are you ready? Yeah. Lift up both your hands. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord. Show, me your mercy. show me your mercy. Oh Lord, oh Lord. grant me your salvation. Me your salvation. Open your mouth and pray. This season, oh Lord, show me your mercy. Oh Lord, grant me your salvation. Oh Lord, show me your mercy. Oh Lord, grant me your salvation. Oh Lord, show me your mercy. Show Nathaniel Bassi and family your mercy. Oh Lord, show me your salvation. That's right. Oh Lord, show me your mercy. Oh Lord, grant me your salvation. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Yes, he has granted you mercy, but say it. This hallelujah talent, show me your mercy. Open your mouth. Take your journal while you pray. Wave it. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't, don't, don't stop, don't stop. You can keep praying. Raise it up. Show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Grant me your salvation. Say by your mercy, turn every situation of delay around. Turn around every situation of delay. Answer me speedily. Speedily. Let him that was to come, come. Let that which was to happen, happen speedily. By your mercy. By your mercy. By your mercy. By your mercy. 
The mercy of God is in 911 line of heaven. The mercy of God is in 911 line of heaven. The mercy of God is the 911 line of heaven. Keep praying. There's something called Abiku. What does it mean? That thing when you yes. Keep praying. Don't stop. Eh? Still birth. That situation of still birth comes to an end. That cycle of still birth comes to an end. It comes to an end. That still birth ends today by the mercy of God. In Jesus' mighty name. And so shall it be. And so shall it be. Lift your hands and thank him. Thank him. Very quickly before we close and take our offerings and givings. If you are not born again, you need the mercy of God fast, very quickly. If you've noticed, I take altar calls very seriously. Very seriously because after dancing and you are not saved, there is no use. There is no use doing all of this, waking up late at night without Jesus and end up in hell. You need the mercy of God. The grace of God is available. All you need to do is to, is to accept the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. All you need to do. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. And you will be saved. So my brothers and sisters around the world, raise your hands if you are not saved. And say boldly and loudly, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I believe right now that you are the son of God. That you came down to earth. That you died. You were buried. And on the third day, you rose again. Thank you for dying for me. I acknowledge I am a sinner. I cannot help myself. Save me and wash me in your blood. Break the power of sin. Fill me with the Holy Spirit and use me for your glory. I declare that I am born again. My sins are forgiven. Father, I declare everyone who has said this prayer saved to the uttermost. Satan has no stake no right, no share in their lives anymore. For there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are now in Christ Jesus. Those who walked not after the flesh but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set them free from the law of sin and death. You are a new creature in Jesus name. Congratulations my brothers and sisters. Now if you look at the screen on YouTube and Instagram you find a pinned um, link and a barcode, please make use of them. Fill the form. It's so important that you fill the form. Because every night I, I find out from the team how many people are saved. You know, I mean, we're big. We, we, Hallelujah Challenge is, is, is a fruit-bearing platform. We want to see souls saved. We thank God for testimonies, marriages, and healings and stuff. But the salvation of souls is the, is the zenith of them all. Okay, so please send us. After the challenge, we'll have a short class for you to help you, you know, stand strong in your faith. Amen. Amen. Now, let's go to giving. You want to be a partner with us. Now, let me tell you something. Hope you know that this thing is streamed on YouTube. Now, it's streamed on my YouTube page because, you know, we have lots of people there. It's streamed on my Instagram page. Let me tell you that all I need to do to make a lot of money is to just click a button to monetize it. If you notice, there is no Hallelujah Challenge video for years that is monetized. So when you watch it, there are no adverts. It's done so intentionally. I could make a lot of money. I mean, yesterday, in less than 24 hours, we had over 300,000 views. That is for an over one hour video. That would fetch me some thousands of you know, um, 
quid, you know, the dollars. But intentionally, we we consecrated this platform. We don't want to earn money from it. Put your hands together. Oh yes, I won't be wrong. I would, I would, I won't be wrong. I would get some money, and I'll, I'll excuse you to say, well, we have to, you know, plow it in. But because we want the platform to be consecrated, pure. That's why you have those testimonies. The effect because we, we pay the price. We lay our lives on the altar. So when we ask you to give, it's not so much for money that we want to make money. It's an opportunity to honor God and also to partner with us. God prospers his people through kingdom projects like this. So please go to the link and give generously not your tithe. Your tithe belongs to your church. Where you are pastored, where you serve, you know, Hallelujah Challenge is not a church. It's not a church. It will never be a church. Oh, yes. In our first year, some people were dragging me, say, okay, wait, you should start a church. I'm very comfortable at the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I'm happy. I don't have a plan to start. I don't start. None whatsoever. I'm happy serving there. So please go ahead and give hallelujahchallengelife.com slash partnership you know your money helps to make this thing I'm sure you've been blessed the the festival is coming the global festival I mean the 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 hall itself alone should, should I tell them how much it's costing us maybe I should tell them I shouldn't tell them I shouldn't tell you they'll say ah that's not that ah, people are dying people are dying amen well, it's okay. It's for a worthy cause. Amen. So, go ahead and give. And let's quickly thank our, past, our partners, um, Simon Coopers. They helped develop a legal framework to make sure that YouTube does not shut us down, you know. And Showgear, they helped us build this studio. iFix Networks, they've done a great job. Those early years, we used to hang. I'm praising God like this. Praising the... <laughs> Amen. Today, then Carol Films helps with the videography. Eventually, Premium Trust Bank. Amen. Zenith Bank, Instagram, Facebook, Mixer, YouTube. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Every evil dream you have, the devil that comes to steal stuff in your dream, after Hallelujah challenge is arrested today Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. thus far and no more Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. take your journals the Lord has done it finally 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 the Lord has done it finally 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 the Lord has done it finally Love rice. <laughs> Your wedding gel of rice. <laughs> Pepper rice. <laughs> Your scholarship. Finally, finally, finally. 
bachelor's, God don't do them. God don't do them. Amen. Finally, God don't do them. Amen. Today, to, today is the final match, Abi. When you are praying for Super Eagles, pray Numbers 23, 23. Let me leave it there. African football is not just tactics and skill. And I, I pray with some of our footballers in the past. And I know a bit about African football. Let me leave it there. Amen. Amen. Hopefully, God will favor us. Amen. 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 The Lord has done it. Amen. God bless you. Don't miss day seven. Seven is the number of perfection. They said trumpets. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to blow it. Finally, finally, finally. When you hear this time, shout, shout. in the name of Jesus that car accident is cancelled is cancelled you will not die by car accident you will not die by car accident somebody will remember this prophetic word that accident there is an escape for you it shall not happen even if it tends to happen you will be delivered in Jesus mighty name don't miss the seven the seven is perfection Sunday into Monday to blast into your week. And then this coming week, our guests will begin to come. Apostle Selma, Pastor Jerry, Pastor B. Um, I probably, you know, and a lot of our friends will come. Music ministers. God bless you. See you. Give God thanks. Give God thanks. Let me speak like Bishop Oedipo.